for the Children's Crisis in Portsmouth. I am really collaborating with a non-profit organization in based in Beton, Houston. Um, October 21st last year, they invited me to one of their efforts for Dominica, the relief supply efforts, where a lot of food stuff and different things were, you know, gathered for Dominica. And they really invited me there to see how things were going and to find out from me if I would be willing to be their coordinator on Dominica to ensure that this supplies reaches the people who really needed it on Dominica. To which I graciously, you know, accept. And uh, it took several months to get things going. But um, thank God, things have been, you know, have been brought to fruition. That the container is here. And we hope to begin the, uh, the stuff in the container this evening and to start sorting out and packaging to, to, to distribute it throughout various communities in Dominica. It's a non-profit organization from people from various religious backgrounds and so on. The president, for example, is a Seventh-day Adventist pastor uh, from St. Joseph. We have Catholics and the members from the Church of Christ who are part of the executive audience in Baton Houston. So the cross-section of you know, very, you know, very concerned people for Dominica, who are they're, they're concerned about Dominica and they want to assist in whatever way uh, they see that's possible. Acts of Kindness Mission Ministry. Basically what they try to do is do acts of kindness towards people, to meet people's needs, to help them whatever way they can, especially relieving their, their needs as far as physical needs, sometimes spiritual needs of course, most importantly, but um, generally it's, a, it's an organization that was formed to uh, really try to meet the people on the ground and uh, not just through you know other, other organization through governmental organization but they wanted to meet the people on the ground the people who really need the assistance and uh, that's why they brought me on board to, to make to ensure that I make sure that the, the items reach the people who really need which communities do you plan to okay. extend that grace to so to speak for example we have on the list um, it may extend to to other communities but that's not just to those but um, for example bells we have some in Woodford Hill, Marigot West area, Penville Vickers, um, Capuchin Cottage, Tukari, those areas, possibly Kolivo, Dublin, Biosh. We're looking at those communities to begin with. And what we have done so far is contacted people in those areas to develop a list of people who are in need and some of the basic things they might need. Now, as far as I understand, there are also some contents in there for the Princess Margaret Hospital and also the Boston Hospital. So we hope to be doing that from, from this 40 feet container that we have to unstuff it. A lot of food stuff, a lot of water, a lot of clothing, a lot of uh, school supplies, those basic items, both cleaning, not, not only food but also cleaning items, you know, like soap and detergents, you know, disinfect and so on. And some things for the hospital, more or less cleaning stuff for the hospitals. Mm. That's what I'm, I'm told is in the container. Apart from that, there are people who have the personal barriers in there. More than a month ago, people have been calling me in anticipation of the, of the container being here when they find out about the barrels. So that too I have to deal with. Quite a number of people have barrels in the container, so I have to ensure 
that these people are contacted and their barrels are delivered. Um, they come to collect their, their barrels. What I have here is um, the names of the people who are on the Acts of Kindness mission uh, committee. The Acts of Kindness were founded by Nicholas, Pastor Nicholas from the Seventh Adventist Church. And uh, you have, he's the chairperson from St. Joseph. You have Melissa Philip, Paula Philip. They are from the Portsmouth area. Um, you have Taiwani in Ashton Dairampo, uh, from Roseau. Uh, <coughs> you have Rosamond and Esther John uh, from the Roseau area. Uh, from Casabus, you have um, some David and my probably Joanina um, from, from, from St. Joseph. As, as you know, these are some of the names that were sent to me, probably not in the order probably that I would have liked, but these are some of the people who are involved in the Acts of Kindness and they are in the uh, Organization Committee. My name is Oliver Wallace and I'm from the community of Woodfordell, but I'm also a pastor and um, working yeah. in the collaboration yeah. with Pastor Romain and assisting the needy in our community. So I, I'm here to receive a few packages on behalf of a few needy families, young women, single mothers, who has up to say five, six children, but are unable to really care for themselves. So this package will assist them in a long way. And uh, I'm looking at a few elderly as well, a few elderly who did themselves, did, as far as we know, three of them are almost practically bedridden. It has to be cared by other persons. So these persons will be facilitated through this process as well. And we have some families, although there are uh, possibly double partners in the home, yet the socioeconomic conditions are such that this need will go a long way. And I can say this because I also work with the family and children services in Dominica, so I quite understand the social uh, status of these people. Well, I just want to say how grateful we are in Dominica for all the help that we have been receiving from governmental organizations, non-profit organizations like the Act of Kindness Mission. And then, you know, it's just so amazing, so wonderful to see that people care for us, people are concerned about our needs. And I just want us as Dominicans to be grateful, to have a greater sense of gratitude for all the prayers, all the concern that people are going to show towards us. And we have to show our concern and our appreciation as we treat each other. Show that by the way we treat one another as Dominicans. To be there for each other, to have each other's back, to console, to comfort, to strengthen whatever we can to assist.